What's up YouTube? This is James coming back at you with another informative video. I hope you guys are doing well out there on this beautiful Thursday. I'm doing pretty good myself. Shout out to my wife Joan for hipping me to this particular situation that's happening here in this video, this story. What we're going to do is watch this uh, 2 minute and 41 second video and then we'll get into the commentary. An elderly woman dies at a Bay Area assisted living facility from poisoning. What happened to her is now under investigation. Good evening, I'm Dion Lim. And I'm Dan Ashley. Thanks for joining us. Our apologies for the delay. We had a quick technical problem to work out. Our top story, new at 11. Employees at a San Mateo senior facility gave her dishwashing liquid instead of juice. Atriot Senior Living, in a statement, says two other residents were hospitalized. ABC 7 News reporter Luz Pena went to the facility to get answers and spoke with San Mateo County's district attorney about the investigation. A 93-year-old woman was pronounced dead after police confirmed she ingested toxic chemicals at the Atra Senior Living Facility in San Mateo. I'm concerned that the level of care is not, is not adequate because issues like this shouldn't really happen. This is very major since it resulted in a death. We met June Lee outside of this facility. She was planning to register her husband into this home this week. I will not consider um, this assisted living facility any longer. Did they mention anything about the incident? No. No, the sales director did not mention the incident. The incident took place on Sunday night. Atria's team confirmed two other residents were also hospitalized. In their statement, they revealed what the toxic chemical was and said, in part, we can confirm three of our residents were recently transported to the hospital after mistakenly being served dishwashing liquid as drinking juice. San Mateo District Attorney Steve Wagstaff confirmed San Mateo Police brought this case to his attention this morning. At least at this point anyway, we've concluded that whatever occurred, we don't think at this point, doesn't mean we rule anything out, but at this point, we don't think it was an intentional act by somebody trying to harm people. If the current evidence points to this not being intentional, then what happened? DA Wagstaff said negligence hasn't been ruled out. If it was people were not being careful with liquid and people suffered harm or death by it, uh, that would be, of course, there could be a very um, significant lawsuit out of it, or it could be a, uh, I mean, it, technically there is a thing in the criminal law called criminal negligence. This facility also confirmed they're conducting an internal investigation and the employees involved have been suspended for the time being. In San Mateo, Luz Peña, ABC7 News. If you guys saw the video that I did about the dog that contracted monkeypox from his owners, it was a greyhound, a greyhound dog, um, and he contracted monkeypox. And I brought up, you know, the fact that it's not good to go out in um, buffets and trust that um, they are sanitizing, you know, the utensils properly. You know, you're putting yourself at risk because people are slipping on the job these days. You see what I mean? I said that. Because that's what it is. And this story right here proves it. You know what I'm saying? A lot of people just got the I don't give a fuck attitude. And that's what it boils down to. There was no excuse at all that this woman right here, 93 years old, living in, you know, an assistant home, you know, assistant facility or home care or whatever, should have been fed no dish liquid. There's no excuse for it. This place should be sued, and basically, it should be shut down. See, it's messed up when your incompetence calls somebody, you know, uh, some sort of setback. But in this case, it's even worse because it calls a life being taken. Okay? That's just what it is. There was no excuse for it. You know, uh, there's a lot of elderly people that are in nursing, you know, homes now, assisting living homes and all that, you know what I mean? And there's just no room for air. You know, like I said, people got the I don't care attitude. And I'm finding that a lot of young men, 40s, well, 30s, 40s, and 50s are even in assisting care living. Now, you know, nursing homes or whatever. 
for whatever reason, you understand what I'm saying? Living a little too reckless, I guess. Not taking care of themselves. But nonetheless, these people are around other people that are there supposedly to have their best interest at heart. You understand? And it's just not like that. You know, this is a like that. I mean, yeah, she's 93 years old, but, you know, hey, she still was living. And more than likely, had she not was given dish liquid, who she trusts, the caregiver to give her, you understand, along with two other people, this woman would be alive today. You understand what I'm saying? So, yeah, I really do think that um, this this place should be sued, you know, and uh, should be shut down. You know what I'm saying? And that goes along with any other assistant, you know, care facility. Uh, that should cause you, this story right here, to tighten up, to make sure you have no room for error either when it comes to dealing with the people that you are getting paid to take care of. There ain't no cause for this shit right here, man. You know, somebody loved this woman. Nonetheless, I mean, somebody, you know, is in shambles behind losing this woman, regardless how old she is. Okay? That's pretty much all I got on this one, people. I want you guys to tell me what you think about this particular story right here in the comment section. I'm interested in hearing your thoughts, views, and opinions on it. Like, comment, share, and subscribe. And people... Please remember to live your life as though we're being watched, simply because we are. This is James, and I'm out. Peace.